sixth time I'm going to do this. If it doesn't upload after this, I'm done. Okay. Friday, orchestra contest. Saturday, volunteering at the orchestra contest. Saturday night, I will come home and tell you all about it. How do I know it's going to have fun stories? Because it's my orchestra and my orchestra's weird. I've been playing violin now for about seven years. And let's just say that in those seven years, I've grown from being someone who can only pluck the strings to being someone who can actually play the strings. Yes, I still do my stuff, but everyone's doing my stuff. We're only here. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh. I'm great. Anyway, um, I don't have anything to do this week for Beauty and the Beast because they decided that they love us and don't want us to be accepted. Just kidding. They have state, they have state contests for their uh, drama performance of the play Anatomy of Grey. So that's what they're going to be doing this weekend. So we really don't have much going on for Beauty and the Beast, which I'm really excited about because I am exhausted and really don't want to do anything this weekend, or this week at all. Um, you'll be hearing a lot about Pierce Deville until March 29th, and even after that you'll still hear a lot about Pierce Deville considering they are my favorite band. Um, I am basically about to just fangirl out on you guys because I get to see Pierce Deville. Pierce Deville. Pierce the Mother Truck and Veil. On March 29th, 2013, I will be driving my happy butt and my friend's happy butt. We will be going up to see Pierce the Veil. We will get there. We will arrive at our hotel. We will get ready. And then we will be dropped off at the doors to wait for the doors to open at 6 p.m. Which in that case, we will run in and I will get front row and I will stay there the entire time. I don't care if I have to pee. I don't care if someone is stepping on me. I am going to make sure that I can see them in front of me so I can freak out like the girl I am. I am, oh my god, you guys, I'm such a fangirl, it's not even funny. So I'm not like an obsessive creepy fangirl, I'm just one of those fangirls who is like, ah! You know, you get to see your favorite band, what are you going to do? First you're going to see the tickets and cry, which I did. <laughs> tickets, yay! And then you're going to realize, I'm seeing my favorite band, and then you're going to go, ah! And then after that, you're going to put the tickets down, and you're going to sit there, you're going to look up, and you're going to be like, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Then after that, you're going to start planning your outfit, which is going to change at least 20 times within the course of the time that you get your tickets until the time you get to go to the concert. I've so far already gone through 10 outfit changes. My current outfit is going to be getting a bright blue tank top and wearing black skinny jeans, and with the bright blue tank top, they get like the fix strap ones, and then if I can't have signatures, my tank top will be covered in them because that's what I'll do, and then I will frame said tank top on my wall. I will never wear it again after that because it would be like a memorable thing. Um, yeah, you can basically say I'm totally growing it out right now because I'm freaking out about it. Boyfriend isn't too happy that he doesn't get to go because he's like, ooh, guys at concert is bad. But he knows he can trust me. You know, we'll be together for a month on Thursday, which I'm really excited about because he's seriously like one of the sweetest guys I've ever met, and I hope I get to be with him for a very long time. Total teenage girl thing to say. I don't care, I'm going to go total teenage girl on you guys. He has managed to make me the happiest girl I could ever be. Um, so I understand, you know, why he's kind of like, um, she's like, oh, you know, you're going to a concert with your one friend of my own friend. Okay, she's a, little, she's a bit of a party girl. So I can kind of understand his uneasiness, but he trusts me. So he gets to go to a concert that night, too. He gets to go see our mice and men. You know, we're both... We're both pretty excited for that. Um, nothing bad's gonna happen at the concert. Most will happen. I'll get in the mosh pit and uh, get hurt. Who cares? Not hurt, but you know, a little bit of pain. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my topics I had to talk about. I want you guys to leave me comments and suggestions about what you want to see in my videos. But here's one thing. Um, don't ask if you can pee on my feet. Okay? I don't know. Where do you get your sick kicks from if this is some kind of stupid lame joke? You can't ask to pee on someone's feet. Pee on your own feet for all I care, but don't pee on my feet. Because, sir, that's disgusting. You do not pee on feet. I will not pee on your feet. You will not pee on my feet. You can go sit in the corner and pee on your own feet, but you're not peeing on my feet. Okay, that's, that's just nasty. Like, when I read that email today when I was there in sixth period, I was in economics. La, la, la. I'm just gonna, you know, check my email. Oh, oh, can I pee on your feet? Dude, really? You wanna ask if you can piss on a girl's feet? What kind of sick, perverted guy are you? Get a life, get a girlfriend, go to the bathroom. Stay in the bathroom. If you like pee so much, why don't you marry it or something? I don't know. I'm done. Alright. Okay. 
I'm going to quickly end this video now before it ends up telling me that the error disconnected, whatever. Okay, so yeah, check back here, subscribe, comment, leave me messages, whatever, I don't care. Have an amazing week, I will hopefully be getting back to all of you shortly, and yeah, stay beautiful.